It's been more than two weeks since a bullied New Jersey high school student took her own life. Now members of the community are calling for change, saying bullying has been going on there for years. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook joins us in the newsroom with more on the issues at Central Regional High School and what happened as school officials faced the public last night. Yeah, well, Chris and Cindy, parents and students who attended say they want the entire school board to resign. Tensions were running high at last night's meeting as the community remains scarred by tragedy. Hearing what happened to Adriana was absolutely disgusting. The Central Regional High School Auditorium was at capacity last night as members of the community sounded off after the death of 14 year old Adriana Cush. They say the bullying has been happening for years. The meeting began with heckling. Resign! Leave! It's the first board meeting since the girl died by suicide after she was bullied and beaten in a video that was widely shared online. My daughter comes home and she's also scared. She's because I came from the school too. It's actually really, really hard to be going to school now because of all the bullying and everything that's been going on. I'm still grieving over Adriana right now. The tragedy visibly struck a nerve with those who say they have witnessed a culture of violence at the school. I was bullied out of the school by not only students but teachers. I had to fend for myself because I was in the darkest point of my life and you completely abandoned me. On the receiving end, facing the heat was acting superintendent Dr. Douglas Corbett, who has been on the job less than a week after his predecessor resigned. Earlier in the day, Corbett faced reporters saying the district is reviewing its bullying policy. He was asked if he has been in contact with Cush's family. No, I have not. Parents say he and the entire Board of Education should all resign. I have no faith in the Board of Education as they are right now. He needs to be dismantled. In a news conference Thursday, school leadership says it wants to reassure the community that steps are being taken to reverse this culture of bullying. We're determined to do whatever we can to prevent these events from happening again. We are also reaching out to state and national professional organization to help us identify policy and procedural improvements consistent with the state and federal laws. And we're looking forward to other initiatives. Now, in the aftermath of Adriana's tragic death, four students are facing criminal charges. School officials said faculty and staff will get more training on recognizing bully, bullying. Rather, Cindy and Chris. Elijah, thank you.